everyone and welcome back to Magic Obsession. In today's video, we are going to go ahead and store some of my launch flies. So it is time of the year to do some spring cleaning. And of course, as you guys could see, I still have Halloween and Christmas launch flies on my wall, which were perfect for my whole rainbow effect that I wanted to do. But now it's time to clean up. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's do some spring cleaning. Okay guys, so here are the four things that I usually get to make sure that my backpacks are stored just the way I like them. So they could stay nice and perfect for when I'm ready to use them again, okay? So I use either bubble wrap for the inside if I took off the stuffing, I cannot find no more. Or I actually have the stuffing that it came in, so I'll make sure to stuff them just perfectly nice and stuff so they could keep their form and their shape because I don't want them to be squished and I give them the extra space that they need and one important thing I always do as well is to make sure that I have the plastic bag you could use plastic bags but I don't want no color to be transferred into the backpack I don't know the humidity the heat of the place that I'm going to be storing them at I'm just not sure and I not do not want to risk it so of course I always save the bags but you could always um purchase any type of plastic bag that's clear to make sure that you have them nice and stored especially if they have um the fur in, uh, on them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the backpacks that I'm gonna be storing. Okay, so here are some of the bags that I'm gonna be putting away. Most of them are my Halloween and my Christmas ones, but um, these are the ones that I was talking to you guys about. This is the one that I have for a couple years now and the fur looks pretty good, but I made sure to store it every single year. And this is the newest one, so you could see the difference in the fur, but I still think it looks pretty good, but I have to make sure that I put it in that plastic bag and store it nicely and make sure that it doesn't get wet. I do take care of that backpack a lot. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take them off of the wall and begin storing them. I did purchase this container and I got it from Target. This is the one I'm going to be using this year. I actually have other containers I've used in the past, but I wanted a clear one for this year to put my Christmas and Halloween one so I could have a better view of them. And of course, I'm going to be labeling them according to what kind of backpacks I put in here just to be a little bit more organized and have them ready when I want to display it and or I want to take them to the park. So let's go ahead and begin to package them. Okay, so this is how I ended up packing them. A total of five in each container. So here's the Christmas ones. I just made sure to put three in the row here and two on the side right here. And they ended up fitting. Now these are all launch fly size bags except for this one. This is a Dooney and Burke, so it's much smaller. But you could definitely fit another launch fly right there. So I think it ended up um, fitting pretty well. Hey guys so that is it for our video for today i really hope that you enjoyed it i know some of you requested this video so i had to make sure to um post it for you guys and make sure that you guys hit a thumbs up button and if you're new to our channel we do anything to do with disney so make sure that you consider um, hitting that subscribe button and joining us in our disney adventures and i hope to see you guys next time bye